Hi, this is Jerry Dees from Avon Rear Press. Today I want to show you a simple way to teach vocabulary using the Smartboard Notebook software. Those of you who are using the Smartboard um, Notebook programs for some of our textbooks will notice that there are a few pages with um, definitions that are clickable. If you pull out this tab, it says click on the word to see its definition. So, um, pretty simple. If you have the students come up to the board or if the teacher is on the board, um, they just click on the word to reveal the definition of each one. Um, and this really isn't too complicated to create. So um, here you see the end product of what we want to create, the definition of the word, a vocabulary word, catechesis. So if you click on the actual word, you can see the definition appears next to it. So let's break it down. So here is the two parts, the definition of the word, the vocabulary word itself. And what we're going to do first is copy the, de the vocabulary word and paste it out of the way. So we have two uh, replicas of the same word. We're going to group the word and its definition. If you click on the little arrow and go to group, they're together. That way they're kind of united as one unit. And then we're going to add a little animation. Um, you can do that over here in the utility section here under object animation type fade in so you can see it will fade in um, once we we see it so we can click on it and it fades into um, the screen as if it was a, a PowerPoint presentation a lot of you are probably already familiar with that so what we're gonna do is line up the copied vocabulary word that we have so it looks like it's just over um, the other vocabulary word the original one and it might look like the same unit and that way, when we click on it, that, that still appears. So the, the vocabulary word never goes away, the, the one that is solid. Um, we want to, though, send it to the back. If you click on the arrow and go to order, send it to the back. It's actually going to be behind the invisible version of the word. So if I start a new page, if I go back and then appear here, you can see that what you are seeing is the copied vocab word that is actually behind the, the one that's faded in. So we can click anywhere on the definition, but if you click over the apparent word, the definition appears. So pretty simple, um, kind of a fun way if you want to get the students up to the board to test their understanding of the vocabulary words or the definitions of the words. Um, and this kind of fading in, fading out thing with the clicking really does have a lot of um, creative opportunities. So there you go.